Weiler was just kind of the guy that didn't really care about what other people thought of him. Just like in a bad way, just he'd make fun of people and didn't think anything of it. Just really didn't care at all what people thought of him in the first place. Basically, five stars impacted me as um, made me more of a leader and made me care more about school and been more wise. Made me choose better about my life and choose things, such as from right to wrong and things like that. The value of respect impacted my life to um, be re more responsible, um, help me in my household, such as I respect my mom more often. She let me be more free, as an instance, I guess you'd say. And then um, I actually had more people like me and respecting them instead of cracking jokes. Just have them like me in a good way instead of a bad way. Um, my relationship with my mother was okay. It wasn't the best thing. We had our arguments and things like that. And going through Five Star, it actually made me discover that I was being more selfish than anything else because I really didn't discover until I started going through Five Star what she actually did for us, everything. Just made me feel like I was like a really bad child to her, but I actually changed. Um, basically, money issues. Like I'd ask her for this thing, and then I'd ask her for that thing right away, and then ask for this thing, and just the money piled on top of each other. And I never really thought about how much little money she had until I actually discovered from Five Star what it explained to me to occur to even ask her if I was ever asking for too much. Because every time I'd ask her for something, she just had this mad look in her eye that she was frustrated with me and she tried to make me as happy as possible in the household, trying to not make me mad. So basically going through Five Star just helped me not ask her for so many things, just like the things that I have now. My parents are divorced. They've been divorced since I was three years old. But life at home has been pretty good. And he paid child support. And then every time that he would actually stop paying, he would do it for such a long course of time until my mom would start taking it to court and got everything sorted out. But every time he'd stop, money problems came up. Um, I guess you could say the household was in depression. We were not happy, we were not having fun. I'd see my mom come home every day tired. Um, just see her, just not happy. Like as she is when my father's actually helping out for us. Just every time I think about doing something wrong, um, I actually think about and ask her for anything, just that's money involved at all. I just think about all the bad things that I asked for in the past, and I think about all the good things that she's doing for us right now at the moment, how she's keeping the house decent, how she's handling two jobs, how she's just keeping us alive, keeping us healthy. I mean, we're much better off than a a lot of other people, if you, if I really think about it. We actually talk a lot more often. Um, me not asking for, I guess you could call it toys, video games, things like that, things that are really expensive, really expensive. She likes to save some of that money up, and we can actually go out for a nice dinner sometimes and have some fun at like arcades and go bowling and see a movie. And just really brought us together, not asking her for so many things that are really big and in money involved, 
and she's really happy when I don't ask her for a lot of things because she tries to keep us happy as much as possible. Because the worst thing to her is her telling me no. What I really enjoyed hearing was um, at camp was that when people were actually getting more involved, such as in my group that I was in, um, just bringing themselves out and actually seeing how they have a lot of the same related problems as me. But if I really think about it, theirs might be worse, mine might, might be worse, but truth be told, it's pretty much equal once you think about it. What really inspired me is when you told me about you, when you, how your child life was as a little kid and everything, and how it turned so bad into something really, really good, and how you turned out. You could have turned out really different once I actually thought about it. You could have turned into something really bad, but then instead you flipped it right around. Basically, just remember what you're mother or father, whatever parent you live with that is really supporting you, um, just remember all the things that they're doing for you and basically just think about all the things that you have and think about what people, what they don't have, what, how lucky you are really, like honestly. Just think about how lucky you are compared to a lot of other people on this earth. And, you know, I always think of the saying in my head, the only easy day was yesterday. So then that, that's what pushes me through to think about everything else that's going on. My focus is basically on, uh, makes me always remember is trying my best to help other people live a faster life. Just trying to tell them as much as I can, if I can even remember, if I don't screw up, tell them right from wrong and say, hey, this isn't the right thing to do. This is the thing that I really try to do a lot of the time. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes, most of the time I don't. But My basic goal is to help other people. Works two jobs. Um, her third job is sacrifice everything else for us. My name is Taylor Weiler. I go to Jackson Intermediate Center, middle school. Just everything seems better. Like living the five star core values just really helped me. I guess. Like that stuff I really never thought about. Like it is better, but I just never really thought about how it changed. I am Taylor Weiler and I love my life.